This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Brace for adverse weather conditions, says the Met Service. Jamaicans are being advised to brace for adverse weather conditions beginning late Wednesday as a strong tropical wave moves across the central Caribbean. The tropical wave is expected to move across the island on Wednesday. Afterwards, it is projected to develop into a broad area of low pressure southwest of Jamaica on Thursday. This system is expected to linger across the Western Caribbean through to early Saturday and adverse weather associated with it is expected to affect the island beginning late tonight and lasting through to Friday afternoon, the Meteorological Service of Jamaica said. During the period, expect an increase in showers, thunderstorms and strong gusty winds, the Met Office advised. Murder suspect nabbed in police operation. A man wanted for murder in Westmoreland is now in custody. The police say 25-year-old Jeffrey Campbell, a resident of Ricketts River, Westmoreland, was captured Tuesday during an operation in Junction St. Elizabeth. Three other persons, including a 17-year-old girl, were arrested. One of the detainees was reportedly wanted by the Manchester police for car stealing. The teenager is said to be a runaway from Westmoreland. The police high command has reported that several suspects have been nabbed during special operations across the island over the last few weeks. Spanish Town Higgler charged with illegal possession of firearm. A 39-year-old male Higgler was arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition following the alleged seizure of an illegal gun at his home on Tuesday, August 24. He has been identified as George King, otherwise called Charlie of Morrison Street in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Reports are that about 4.50 a.m., members of the Specialized Operations Branch conducted a targeted operation in the area. During a search of King's home, one Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol with a magazine containing five 9mm cartridges was found on his veranda. King was subsequently taken into custody. He later gave the police a statement following which he was charged. His court date is being finalized. Health crisis looms as nurses call in sick. There is a looming health crisis in Jamaica as a number of nurses across the island called in sick Wednesday morning, sending officials scrambling to assess the scale of the problem. The Conroll Regional, Mandeville Regional and Mapen Hospitals and the University Hospital of the West Indies have been adversely affected by the group industrial action. A sick out is a period of unwarranted sick leave taken as a form of group industrial action. The UHWI has confirmed that at least 52 nurses have called in sick. Nurses are advocating that structured measures should be introduced to guarantee care if healthcare workers contract the virus, but the government has not changed its stance of having a predetermined priority list. It is understood that the planned protest is aimed to force the government to change its stance on the issue. When contacted by the news, a person who answered the phone of the Nurses Association of Jamaica, President Patsy Edwards Henry said, Mrs. Henry will not be making any announcements to the media at this time until she gets more information. Fatigue associated with a surge of COVID-19 cases, along with record hospitalizations and deaths, has caused healthcare workers to become restive. Two weeks ago, Percy Junior Hospital Annette White Best was confirmed as the first case of a nurse dying after contracting COVID-19 on the job. White Best succumbed after waiting for a long period for a ventilator. The situation was compounded when retired nurse Lynette Johnson passed away from COVID-related complications last Thursday, hours after her husband succumbed to the respiratory illness. An online meeting that was held Tuesday between Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton and the executive of the NAJ and about 300 nurses ended in a stalemate. Jamaica has recorded more than 63,000 COVID-19 cases and 1,417 deaths. Health care workers are becoming increasingly frustrated as nations struggle to combat the third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic.
Teen charged for a fatal gun attack on man. A 17-year-old boy was charged on Tuesday for the shooting death of a man along East Road in the vicinity of 6th Street in Kingston in July. The teen is charged with murder, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. His court date has not yet been finalized. The teen has been in custody since his arrest on Saturday, July 24, and was officially charged on Tuesday after a question-and-answer interview. The police report that 40-year-old Winston Muir, otherwise called Baggy, was attacked on Tuesday, July 13. It is reported that about 11.35 p.m., residents heard explosions and alerted the police. Upon the arrival of the police, Muir's body was seen lying on the ground in blood with gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. The crime scene was processed and the body was removed to the morgue for post-mortem. The teen was subsequently apprehended. Another man could face a murder charge following death of spouse he set on fire. Investigators are awaiting an official report on the death of Hanover businesswoman Nicole Clark to determine whether to upgrade a charge against her boyfriend. Ms. Clark died on Sunday in a hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, while undergoing treatment for severe burns. Her boyfriend, Emron Pilnar, has been charged with attempted murder. He remains behind bars. A senior police source told the news that investigators are awaiting a post-mortem report. Ms. Clark sustained burns all over her body when she was reportedly doused with gasoline and the set ablaze by Mr. Pilnar during a domestic dispute on May 19 in the community of Great River. More than 21,000 vaccinated on Tuesday. More than 21,000 people in Jamaica received the COVID-19 vaccine on Tuesday, the highest daily number since the inoculation program started in March. A news release issued by the Ministry of Health and Wellness said 40% of persons vaccinated on Tuesday were children 12 to 18 years. On the final day of the special vaccination blitz, parents and the school staff were also vaccinated at 17 sites in 13 parishes. The vaccination program is continuing on Wednesday with the reopening of permanent sites across the country. Jaka Diamond charged with assault and illegal possession of firearm. The police have arrested and charged 23-year-old Nakeem Mullins, otherwise called Jaka Diamond, with assault at common law and illegal possession of firearm following an incident along Garden Lane in Kingston on December 9, 2020. The police said at 8.15 a.m., Mullins and a woman reportedly had an argument that escalated into a fight. Mullins then allegedly brandished a firearm from his waistband and pointed it at the woman. A police report was later filed. After an investigation, Mullins was arrested on Friday, August 20, 2021, and subsequently charged on Tuesday, August 24, after a question-and-answer session. 14 more COVID-19 deaths, 367 new cases. Jamaica has recorded 14 more COVID-19 deaths, pushing the tally to 1,431. Those who have died are an 82-year-old man from Clarendon, a 73-year-old woman from Clarendon, an 85-year-old woman from St. James, two 72-year-old women from St. James, a 69-year-old woman from St. James, a 69-year-old woman from St. Anne, a 65-year-old woman from St. Anne, an 82-year-old man from Portland, a 57-year-old woman from St. Catherine, an 86-year-old woman from Westmoreland, a 69-year-old man from Westmoreland, a 67-year-old woman from Westmoreland, and an 80-year-old woman from Westmoreland. The Ministry of Health says the deaths occurred between August 21 and August 23, and 12 more fatalities are under investigation, moving that figure to 133. Meanwhile, there were 367 new cases, with ages ranging from 18 days to 99 years, pushing the total to 63,831, with 14,128 being active. Of the new cases, 220 are women and 147 are men. The parish breakdown is as follows. Kingston and St. Andrew, 80. 
Westmoreland 75, St. James 64, Trelawney 28, St. Catherine 28, St. Thomas 28, Hanover 24, St. Mary 21, Manchester 15, St. Anne 13, St. Elizabeth 6, Portland 4 and Clarendon 2. A total of 1,033 tests were conducted. The country's positivity rate stands at 44.4%. In the meantime, there were 33 more recoveries, increasing the total to 47,876. Some 664 persons are in hospital, with 193 being moderately ill, 92 severely ill, and 61 critically ill. Four persons are in government quarantine, while 47,487 are at home. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.